Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. If you have the Bible, look at the James chapter 5, verse 7. Book of James chapter 5, verse 7. Be patient, then, brothers, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmers wait for the land to yield his valuable crops, and how patient he is for the autumn and spring rain. You too be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against each other, both uh, uh, brothers, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophet who spoke the name of the Lord. As you know, you consider blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Above all, my brothers, do not share not by heaven or earth or by anything else. Let your yes be yes and your no no, or you will be condemned. This morning, according to the scripture, uh, I would like to share with you about the patience. Patience. Do you know the fruit of the Holy Spirit? Love, joy, peace. Patient, patient. Patient is very important. Long suffering. Patient. Patient is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. This is a commandment. Be patient. This is not optional. You have to do it. Be patient, then brothers, until the Lord is coming. Especially, do you have the hope? Yeah, do you have the hope to see Jesus in heaven? Be patient. Have a perseverance. Anybody have the hope? Keep patient. Keep patient until you go to heaven. Yeah, we have to have the patience. And then see how the farmer wait for the land to yield its valuable crops. How patient he is for the autumn and spring rains. Do you know farmer? Their, their, their job is a patient job. <laughs> patient. If they plant the seed today and try to get the uh, fruit tomorrow, no, this will never ever happen. You sowing the seed. Do you know our brother, uh, our worship leader, Brother Ben, in our church? And um, Brother Ben, he leading the praise worship with the kiss guitar. And when he was uh, 14, I knew his father and mother. I went to their house. When I went there, I asked him, Brother Ben, can I pray for you? He said, no, no, no. Actually, do you know why he went? He went to the, the roof. <laughs> Very strange. Not many people learn away and then claim them loof. And then, oh, it's very strange. Do you know what I did? I stretched my hand. Oh God, would you touch this brother Ben? Save him, change him. When you go to loof, what did you do? Take the marijuana. Teenager boy, take the marijuana. My man, there is no very happy. But we pray. I pray, Lord, touch him, save him, change him. The spirit of living God come upon you. I was praying like that. Guess what happened? Ten years later, he came, he came to me. Pastor Paul, do you remember me? When I was 14, you were sowing the seed. Actually, I totally forget. Can you explain to me? And he, he said to me, I'm the one to claim and then go on to the loop. And you are the one to pray for me. You sowing the seed. Oh, because of very special, I remember somebody ran away and, oh, you are the one. Ten years later, he become a born again Christian by some of my, uh, my friend, the pastor, and then he started to come to our church. And then he played the guitar. I encouraged him. He just played the guitar. He never sing. I say to him, sing it. Oh, no, no, no. I only play the guitar. Try. And then now he's singing and we, we play the guitar. I still remember, 10 years ago, I saw him the city in his life. Yeah, now you see he turned, come to our church, and I think, you know, almost 
more than 30 years now. Then how God is working? We saw in the seed. And 10 years later, that guy, he repented the seed. We never estimate. We, we don't know what's going what to happen. Therefore, our main job continually plant the seed. Plant the seed. I ordered a 40,000 um, chick, the cartoon leaflet from America. They're going to send. Yeah. Do you know that small leaflet? Expensive, 30 pence. 30 pence. This one, 30 pence. And then another delivery charge is 30 pence, usually 60 pence. Can you imagine? This small leaflet is 60 pence. And then we just saw in the seed. We praise the Almighty God. Yeah? Be patient. As a farmer, keep patient. And then we say, you too, be patient. And stand firm. Because the Lord's coming is near. Yeah? Be patient. Oh, God, help me, Lord. I didn't keep patient, Lord, today. Would you help me to keep patient? This is the word, this is the word of God. This order, you too, be patient. Yeah? Because of the Lord is coming. It's near. Verse 9, don't grumble against each other, brothers, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. God is our judge. Instead of you grumbling each other, keep patient. Yeah? If you keep patient, you can wait. Wait. People, yeah, they complain. People, they complain. Do you know that when you order some food, if you, if you order some food in Korean restaurant, within five minutes you can get it. <laughs> so okay. But some other restaurant, you wait, wait, wait. So you're hungry. <laughs> More hungry. <laughs> but keep patient. If you're not patient with your husband, with your wife, with your children, with your mom, with your daddy, we do some brothers and sisters, yeah, prostrate, angry, grumble against each other, but don't do it. Ask you the Lord, how long I'll keep patient with this brother? Jesus is uh, patient. Do you know that love is God, yeah? Love is patient. Yeah, if you look at the 1 Corinthians chapter 13, is a chapter of love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, yeah, this is love, verse 4, what is the number 1? You know God is love, verse 4, <clears throat> around uh, over 10, the character of love, yeah, verse 4, love is what? Patient, Patient you see, this is the first, when you, when you see the first things about uh, about uh, some uh, some some character whatever is most important love is patient to see love is kind yeah so important love is patient god is patient yeah brother you are patient daniel you are patient yeah mark yeah sister grace and angel you are patient the love is patient. God is patient. Be patient. And then, and he say, the brothers, as an example of a patient in the face of suffering, take the prophet who spoke in the name of the Lord. Yeah, the prophet. They telling the truth, but keep patient. Look at the Jeremiah. Look at Isaiah. This great prophet. They keep patient. And then, you know, we consider blessed are those who have persevered. Blessed is the man who keeps the patient. You have heard about the Job's perseverance. Have you heard about that Job's perseverance? Job was a man of a patient. Be patient. Why God keep the patience with you, for you and me, to repent. Yeah, For you, to keep patient with somebody, yeah? For what? Then it will depend. How many we experience? Somebody repent the sins because you keep patient for that person. Yeah? Same thing. God keep the patient for you and me. 
Otherwise, you already perish a long time ago. I keep the patient for you. I keep the patient with the Sebastian. <laughs> Me, my elderly man kicking on time. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> but I love him. I keep on praying for him. Keep patient to each other. Everybody. And learn from Job's patience. Job, what was happening? Job, he lost ten children. Job, he lost his, all his possession. Job lost his, his health. He lost everything. Even Job lost his wife. Wife said to him, curse your God. Kill yourself. Job was a man of patience. Patient. Before God. Even his three children attacked him. Now nah, you have something a problem. You you have some sin. In all these things. Everybody <laughs> look like against him. Everybody. Job was his uh, nobody. Even look like God he himself rejected Job. Ten children died. The Bible say this is the word of the Lord. Look, you have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. If you keep patient, the compassion and mercy come upon you. His mercy come upon you. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Keep patient. And Job get another ten more children again. When his children die, ten of them. He get uh, ten children again. And then his possession, every material thing, finest thing, is double blessing. Double, double. Everything's double. And then somebody asked question, who is his wife? Is the first one or the second wife? He get he remarried or what? You know, or could, I couldn't find uh, he married again or no. I believe that he, he keep patient with his first wife and then his wife return. His wife get another ten more children. <laughs> can you imagine? He can learn from Job. He's a man of patient. I think of course Jesus is our God, he's a savior, he's a messiah. But after Jesus, who is the most uh, uh, suffering man in the in this world, in the history of the world, who? Job. Job. Did he lose ten children? <laughs> did he? Did he your wife speak to you like Job's wife? Did he lose? He, you know, Job was he's a multi like a millionaire. He lost everything, but he still not play complain to God. He still not commit the sins with his tongues. He glorify God. Learn from Job. <coughs> oh Lord help us. We keep the patient. Love is patient. Be patient for one another. But when God say to you, when you pray to God, God say yes. This is the best answer from God. When God say no, also it's a good answer because you know you don't do it. But when God say wait, wait is the most difficult. We don't know how long. We keep patient. Jesus say in the book of Revelation, I'm coming soon. When you say that? Two thousand years ago. We waited for two thousand years. The two thousand years look like a, it's too long. Yeah? Patient, patient, patient. Yeah? Jesus want you and me to keep patient. Keep patient. Yeah? If you don't keep the patient, you lose everything. When God say wait, wait upon the law, wait upon the law. Keep patient with me. Keep patient with brothers and sisters. When God promised with you to do something, Sometimes two times look like it take a long time. This page, this, this uh, the promise is not fulfilled. But keep patient, patient. Yeah, keep patient. When God promises with you, He will do it. Please ask the Lord, help me to keep patient. Lord, you can do it. 
Look at Noah's ark. God spoke to him, Noah, God will destroy the whole world by a flood. Noah, he's, he spent how many years to build the ark? 120 years. Can you imagine? 120 years he spent time to build the ark. But he doesn't know when, what time. Nobody knows. That is what the Bible says. Now is like Noah's time. We don't know when Jesus is going to come in. But we know the signs. We know the, as Jesus said, as you know, the, if you see the dark cloud, and you can, you know, expect to see the rain. How about you? You can check the weather, yeah? But how about the, you don't check the, the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? Be patient. And God is patient. Easily, you know, almost we give up. Oh no, I don't. Let me wash my hand. Let us keep patient for one another. Let us keep patient for brothers, sisters. Let's pray. Father God, help us. We learn from farmer. Farmer keep patient. When they plant the seed, they waiting for the autumn and spring then and then get the fruit. We learn from farmer. Keep patient. We learn from Job. Keep patient. We know them. The Bible says, Bless those who have persevered. We keep a persevered. Keep patient. And we'll be blessed. But Lord, we are so sorry. We didn't keep the patient for one another, but also before you. Help us to keep patient. The love is patient. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. When we keep the patient, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to Israel coming Monday. Yeah. Keep on praying. God is working in, in Israel. God saved the souls in, in Israel. And we carry the uh, Bible and uh, God will protect us and lead us by the uh, blood of Lord Jesus Christ. And keep on praying for Sister Tina. I was in Kingston Hospital last night. I keep on praying for Sister Tina. And she couldn't eat. And the last night I encouraged her to drink the water. She drink the water now. And pray for her. And pray for Juliet. And she came out from hospital. Praise God. Now keep on praying for Sister Juliet. And Sister Anna, who are in the um, uh, south end, the, the hospital. Pray for her. God heal her. Thank you. God bless you.